Okay, today we're going to look at the LaSalle's digital signal generator and how to attach it to a standard lab oscilloscope. Generally go through the main functions of the signal generator here and let you see just what it's capable of. So the signal generator is going to be connected to the scope using a standard 4mm to BNC connector lead. And the SIGGEN has three sockets on the end. One is a common ground that you're going to connect the black socket to. And the other two are outputs. There's an 8 ohm output for speakers and vibration generators, etc. And there's a 600 ohm output for electronics and scopes. And that's the one we're going to use today. Once that's done, we can connect our scope onto channel 1 there. And there's our trace on the screen. Just, just, let's just adjust the trigger there. And there we go. At the moment, this is outputting a 1 kilohertz sine wave with an amplitude of about 7 volts peak to peak. The amplitude is very easily adjusted. The large knob here goes all the way down to 0 volts. That's 0.4. And we can take it all the way down to that's 0.2, nicely visible on the scope, nice clean trace. And that can be adjusted all the way up to 24 volts peak to peak. And there you go, still retaining the nice sinusoidal trace. The frequency can be changed in two ways on this. There is a fast change set of buttons that allows you to sweep for the full range of frequencies from 0 hertz we go all the way down. That naught hertz can then be increased all the way up to 100 kilohertz in only a few seconds. So here we are down at 6 hertz. There's your trace. And by pressing the fast up change button on the frequency, we can increase that all the way up to 100 kilohertz in a matter of seconds. I adjust the time base on the scope. There's your 100 kilohertz wave, nice and clean on the scope. Second way of adjusting the frequency is using the fine adjust knob here. That will give you steps of 0.1 kilohertz for every small notch on the, on the dial. This allows you to adjust the frequency to exactly what you want once you've got the rough frequency set using the fast change. There are three waveform outputs on the SIG gen here. There's a sinusoidal wave, a square wave for electronics work, things like that, and a triangular wave, all of which remain the same frequency as you've set, and all of which are adjustable in the same way as the sine wave. The LaSalle's digital signal generator. Thanks very much.